Last November, we delved into online piracy, illegally downloading and streaming copyrighted material. Cheap streaming services are available on the net and you get a lot of bang for your buck. Starting at 160 Rand a month, you get promised access to hundreds of international and local channels and streaming services, all in. Fricky Jonker, head of multi-choice broadcasting cybersecurity anti-piracy division, told us opting for this cheap deal places the entertainment industry at risk. To maintain a legal, you know, entertainment industry, it costs money. These dealers don't pay any, any rights holders, any cents. I mean, no money is paid for the actors, for the songwriters, for the sportsmen. And we met Tawanda, a reseller who sold us a streaming device for just 450 Rand. And this will give me all the channels. Super Sport. All the super sports, all the it's even better on DSTV because it's with other channels that are murdered here. I really comes up my Netflix, my DSTV, my show much, everything on it. That beep concealed the name of an illegal streaming service called Waka TV, one of the largest piracy operations on the continent. Uh, we couldn't mention the name Waka TV because obviously they were under investigation. Um, and we were still gathering a lot of intelligence around them, their resellers, the customers they sold to as well. Last month brought major breakthroughs in the investigation, with raids on Waka TV operations in five countries and the arrest of a key suspect in Cape Town. This person was a significant person of interest, um, you know, especially in South Africa, and probably supplying also relevant content for the rest of the African continent as well. That also led us to identify other WACA operations in other parts of the African continent. And um, obviously, I cannot say where exactly which countries, but this is being a huge win for us. The nature of piracy means that as fast as one player is removed, another pops up to take his place. But Fricky's team identifies and shuts down illegal users daily. And when we see how the actual viewing pleasure is disrupted by our um, action, we believe people will, um, will start saying, is it worth it? A second suspect was arrested days later in Gauteng. Both have been released on bail. Piracy will always be there but we will go after them with anything, everything we have with the police, with the law, um, with enforcement, with raids, arrests and prosecutions.